Next, I decided, decided to go ahead. I, I actually attached the the dove now. It's attached. And I did put the crown on top of the dove. And this is where the flowers are going so far. I added a few things here. See that? And I haven't decided on the bottom. I'm, I added these down here. These are all, all they are are just the fishing wire type trims. And I attached them. And I don't want it to completely hide this beautiful applique. So that's why I decided not to use um, this beautiful pearl one. Because the pearl one I thought would just cover That's it. That's where I'm at it. so far. And now I've decided to add some red. So in. I'm going to actually stick it down in here. See, right there. Because I do want some red in, and I don't know if I'm that's the only place I'm going to do it, but it's actually just a triple flower. It's also a good way of adding the green because these have little bits of green in them. And here we go. So, green. you may also sometimes find in my crafty boxes, and they I had a, I had bought a whole like lot of them, and they were in a giant bag, and I'm almost I'm getting low on them. But they're just so gorgeous. I love the color of the pearl that's attached to them. But they are on a pin. So you can use them as the pin. Or I'm going to show you how I remove um, the pin. Because the pin on this is just put on with hot glue. I use the tip of my glue um, gun. And I kind of let it. I kind of run it along there. Let it melt until it gets kind of hot. See, it softened it enough. If you had taken more time, it would have been a lot easier. So this piece right here, when you find them in your crafty boxes, um, that's how you can remove it if you want. And so I've actually placed on my nest, you can see, there's the beautiful dove, which represents the Holy Spirit on my cross. And then here I have made a nest of flowers, and I'm not completely done with it. I'm still deciding and debating and I, since I added some red here I'm going to try and find another place to add red and this is how I do it I just go along and I I stick it in and say what does it look like and um, I decide if I want it there or not and I'm thinking it needs some on this side so maybe I better try another spot here so actually I, I like how it looks right there and I can decide about those pearls I think they look gorgeous sticking up, so I'm going to stick it right in there. And then I have another one that I that has a little bit of red, but has some beautiful like a pink and a um, adds more green to green. Um, so I'm, I'm going to see if I want to put this anywhere because I don't want too much red, but I want some red. As you can see, if I place it this way, it blends in the pink blends in. But if I turn it around, the red is next to the pink. And I actually like that look better. But I'm also looking here at the, I don't want to cover up my thing too much. But I um, I just might leave that there. I'm going to let it sit there for a while and stew um, for me. But I actually picked up this. I actually um, have these in my shop also. Um, and this is basically a, a lace. And... I decided I'd like the color. It's got a, a slight green color, but then it has some like cream or tan in it. And it's very light, but I I like to make um, flowers out of everything, all kinds of laces. So here, this is a cute flower, and these are the kind of flowers I make. I just twirl them together, and then I can tuck them places. So if I look in my piece and I say, well, it needs some green somewhere I can add some green and this is a lighter green so it's not going to be a, a green that overtakes anything and I can stick it underneath see there I just stuck it in there and I can leave it there for a little while and let it sink in whether I want to leave it there but you could see how this one just totally overpowers the the green just is really really stark but I can also tone that green down by possibly placing another color on top of it but I like this one. I'm not sure about the other one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one in there. So I'm adding a, a variety of different things. I, I Right here I put a little bit of, of an applique. I used a piece of applique I took off. I removed and I put that there. So there you go. I messed it up. But it looks good anyway. <laughs> 
So there's that one. And um, I put a little bit of lavender right there. And the lavender are these little teeny tiny flowers. And I'm, I, like I said, I don't want, this one came off. I, did, I guess I never, I put it there to, to decide and I, I didn't take it off. I didn't glue it down. So I think I'm going to leave that there. I like it. Maybe if I put it here. No, don't like that. So here's another. This is a little piece, little small doily, and it's got green on it. A little small Alalis Technique flower that I found, and it's lavender. And I'm I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I'm. It sits. They sit here, and then I decide if I want to use it. So I'm not sure if I like that right there. So let me try this one. See what I like. If I like that. I, I do like the color um, and like I said I don't want this to be all pink I, I kind of I'm putting like a bunch of different different colors in it on in this nest it's just loaded with all kinds of flowers as though you threw a nest of bunch of flowers in a basket and then the dove settled in there and a dove would do that <laughs> the dove seems to nest any place <laughs> So I'm taking this all of this one and I think I'm going to place it here and I go and I, I lift up everything I want to show. So I'm going to stick it right in there with some glue and I just happened to have made this before probably in one of my tutorials on how to make the flowers or I was just practicing and I use tidbits of different things that I've made and you can see how it adds. A little bit there and if you want you can still stick a pearl in there anything you want so one of the things I do too is these kind of flowers on a wire I like to make them like pop out and one of the ways I do that is I'll take the wire and I kind of wind it like this okay and now it stands so there's a little pink I added in there and th this right here was um, one of my little flowers I made out with the all of this technique so now I'm gonna go ahead I think I have a lot of flowers in there and I may add more in a bit but I think I want to see the nest effect with adding more of my um, my trims and flowers so I'm gonna start with um, I showed you this one this is a cute trim and I'm gonna start adding it around in different places to see what it looks like and I think I'm going to start it just by right here where I put that flower I'm going to stick this in there there too and glue it in at the same time I'm all I'm doing is opening it up right there and then I'm sticking so I'm going to stick some glue in there down at the bottom my glue gun's all hitting all the way at the bottom of the of the uh, flowers on the reason to it I'm just finding places to tuck it in and I'm not going to tuck it I'm not going to glue them all right away because I'm going to actually add more um, stuff I'm going to add some other other things on it let me see if I can get it there's some more pink that's pink also so maybe I want my cream let me find my cream okay this one's almost empty <laughs> but it has the pink cream pearls so these are going to go all around and kind of be To me part of the nest effect and okay I think I like that I think I like that sticking them in and then just have them just go and lie where they want and I'm I'm pushing it in again like I did the other one and because remember you don't want you don't want to stick your finger in the glue in fact, I should get something to stick in there. I don't know where my little finger is for gluing. Okay, I stuck them in there. Okay, then I'm going down all the way to the bottom with glue, and I put a generous amount. Of glue in there. If I take this one and I kind of tuck it underneath here, like this, it's going to pull this one down. So I'm going to think I'm going to. Do this inspires you to make your own um, Easter Easter cross I don't do a lot of um, 
crafts based on my beliefs, but I know that there's a lot of us out there who are celebrating this season. And um, I have so many ideas in my mind that this one, I like how it's coming out. And you know, even when I when I do things like this, afterwards, like a day later, I'll hang it up and then I'll go back and I'll say, oh, it needs this or that. I'm, I craft like that. So most of the times when I do tutorials though, you guys usually see it after the fact, um, after I've actually finished. And sometimes what I'm doing is down here, there is a green leaf. I want that green leaf to be visible, but I do not want, but I want to stick the pearls down in there to glue them down so they actually stay put in that little section. And even though it's disorder, like a nest, there's a little bit of order that I'm actually trying to get and at the same time. So here's more disorder on this side. There's a string. See that? And so I decide, do I like that? A lot of times I'll take a picture of what I made to see if I actually like how the colors came together. And when I'm looking at this from far away from my photos, I'm looking actually straight in the camera. You know, I'm not sure about, I think I need a little bit more, like this is pink and this is kind of like a peachy pink. And I, that's what I want. I want various colors. So I think I'm gonna add a little something. I think it needs a little more red on this side. So here's another one of these. I could just set, it's the one that has the pin on it. I might stick it like under here so it's partially covered, but at the same time you can see it. And so it kind of evens that part out. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm actually, this time I'm going to leave the pin on. So maybe you can create your own um, Easter cross. And this is very inexpensive because I used the Dollar Tree cross. And I didn't even march podge over it. I just started putting my, my doilies and then laces. And um, so I hope you enjoy watching my... Easter cross come together and I'm actually thinking that um, I put um, this right here where is, where is another one I actually been working on dyeing and this one is actually avocado dyed and I placed that inside my mix also because I wanted to see what it looks like but I actually am liking right now it's like it's got a lot of the nest it looks you know I don't know I'm thinking over here maybe I'm not sure. I like that. I'm going to place it right in the center down there. So all it is is a little small doily. It's a little miniature one. It's probably two inches or so. And um, I go like that. And now this doily is becoming my flower that I'm placing and tucking it in. There's a, a small little angel. She's, this is a little charm that I carry in my shop. She might, she might be cute. I, I don't want to, I don't like, I might just place pearls all inside there too. Maybe I'll get out some pearls and, um, like me, I, I come and I take this and later on as I keep on working on the rest of it, I may make some changes to my flowers. And this is like a, my messy pearl nest with um, that. And then this is like, this is another doily. You can do the same thing with it. See how pretty that looks? And um, I'm going to see if how it looks next to this lavender. I'm not sure. The color is pretty. I like the way it's peeking out. It gives, brings in a little bit of that. Um, I want to show you the details of some of the things that I finished up because I didn't get to show you all the details because when I craft, many times I'm um, crafting and I have a baby and I don't always get to um, finish up. So this is the back of my cross now. I ended up placing um, a, a, not flannel, but is, what is this called? 
I ended up, this is the back of my cross. I ended up placing a um, felt background along the entire thing to cover up what was underneath. And I did show you what was underneath. Um, one of my, um, I basically, um, here at the top, I did end up placing the crown, a crown up here. And the crown to me represents my king and father king. And this cross is actually filled with the theme of my Christian faith. Uh, let's see. So um, my dove, again, it represents the Holy Spirit because Jesus is no longer on the cross. And the Holy Spirit, I believe, lives within us. And these are my views. You, you know, I'm, I'm just showing you something beautiful I made. But they're all, it's also it's very inspirational in reference to my faith. I don't always do um, videos showing my faith because I want everyone to feel comfortable. And I think some people will be comfortable with this even though you don't have my faith. And that's okay. Um, and um, But I want you to still enjoy the beauty. And you can use something like this, my design, on something else that might be inspirational for you. And... Um, so here along the edge is, I don't think I showed you that I had actually placed this trim right here um, along um, that edge to give it a little bit more of an elegant look. And I was experimenting with this right here because I recently got some of these in. And let's see, this flower right here I added later on. And these flowers here, I actually... I. I actually have had them in my Etsy shop for a long time and no one really seems to purchase them. I don't know why because they are gorgeous. I said, well, I'm going to start using them. <laughs> so I started using them and here we go. How beautiful that looks. And that's what I do with a lot of my flowers. I either make them or I use them. And then you can see if you look that I did leave the red in there, but all the reds, you can see that I toned them down a little bit with different different ways. On this red, as you can see, when I place this pink flower here, I actually decided that, oh, you can tone it down by putting a little bit of the pink over the red. So the red still peeks through, but there's some pink that kind of tones that, that down. And this center one, I ended up toning that down by adding a pearl right in the center of the red. See that? And then here, and, I did, and you didn't have to use, you could actually use one of these pearls from this dangle and just stick that in there. That would work also. And this one over here, it's a, a leaf type of a green that's kind of giving it a little bit of... Um, and over here, it's just, it's right there. It's just covered with this beautiful flower. You can see the red. So you can see how when you group things together, although I have a mishmash of colors, my, my goal is to bring that mishmash together and then make it balanced. And I have no type of... Um, of degree or no one's ever really taught me but it's just what I think through so what I do is I'm I'm not sharing I don't profess to be a professional or anything like that I'm actually a do-it-myself learn myself and these are just things that come I'm showing I'm sharing with you the things that come to my mind as I'm actually designing something and that's what comes to my mind is that I wanted the colors in there because I wanted it to look like a nest that was just thrown together with a bunch of flowers but then I wanted a little bit of order so that it wouldn't like so it would, bl it would blend together and I wanted to use a different ty different types of flowers and textures so as you can see here here's doilies here's a handmade wired flower here's um, actually a actual th this is part of the doily also right here and um, these are pre-made flowers that I carry in my shop I only have a few left of those and this is a satin pre-made flower and then in here here's a flower that I made myself and I just put them and mishmashed them all together but yet I put a little bit of disorderly order that was my goal <laughs> and here is um, some trims that I just um, put in there this is a wired trim I carry that in my shop also and here down below, I decided to bring down some of the colors here by lying, laying down some of the those trims. Here's the heart trim, which represents the love of Christ. And then here's some just some more of that fishing wire, the pink trim. And I actually put a flower hanging going downward here too. My intention was that I not cover up everything. I do not want it all to be covered up. And I am actually going to trade. I have this pink um thing in here and I'm going to trade that and I'm going to put 
one of my um, other, I have, um, I placed this beautiful um, cameo, glass cameo Kobachon on here. And um, I actually sell sell these in my shop. And um, I'm going to replace, I want to put another one. And I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to see if I can find it. And it's going to be an angel. And the angel is like one of those guardian angels. And it just, just reminds me more of also that angels were present in every situation that we are in. That um, God uses them as messengers and they were present even for him for Jesus when he was going through things. And then over here, here's that dove. It's beautiful. And I actually been thinking that I may end up mod podging with mod podge glitter over because this, because this Dollar it's... Tree dove, it seems to be coming off a little bit. So I think I'm going to mod podge over it. And um, what else? Let's see. Oh, I just brought a tiny bit of color over to this corner with a little bit of pink. I didn't want too much. A little bit over here too. This one I actually glued it down and I this one see it's actually separate. I may glue that one down. I don't know. But as I as I've gone I've really enjoyed it. There's only one. Oh then at the end okay after I did my cross I um let me turn it side so you could see it. When I looked at it from from far away it looked like a cross normally has like this this and this the top and the two sides are close to the same length and the bottoms is a little bit longer and visually when i saw this cross already made up it looked a lot shorter and looked more like a plus sign cross so i decided that because of the way i placed my nest that visually it looked like the bottom was shorter see because it's cutting off the edge here so it gives you a visual so I decided to lengthen it. And so this is the last thing I did is I lengthened it. I had I had it here just with that dangle. Then I added a lace there. And then I decided to add here one of my vintage laces. This is a very vintage piece that I have, a vintage lace that I cherish. And I just use a little bit at a time when I feel like I need it. It's very thick and heavy, but it, it, it just looks, it has that vintage coloring in it. And then I added some of my um, little um, new like leaf petal kobochons on there. These are just acrylic, and um, I plan to put these in my shop, but as a as a lot like with um, a bunch of different kinds of buttons and acrylic things. And so then that brought that bottom and gave me that extra length, and I felt like that really made the difference on the length of my cross. So um, I could talk all day about this, but I hope you enjoyed this and you are inspired to create your own um, Easter cross. This is an Easter cross. And um, you know that you can work, I could have used instead of these um, new appliques, you can use one of your wedding dress appliques and choose, choose to use that instead. So if you have any questions, please ask the questions below on YouTube because then everyone can go back and look at the comments and I can refer people to the comments so comment below with any questions that you have so that everyone can see them and we can have a discussion down below thank you I will talk to you next time and have a happy happy Easter